I'm Xavier Collin. I work for Google for Work, which is um, a business unit within, uh, within Google that focus on digital transformation. So I'm going to try to link those two be with the uh, theme of the day with uh, the API. So um, today what we, do, we try to do at, uh, at Google, as you know, uh, a major software, uh, software vendor, is to bring uh, the best of what you have at home into the company. Okay? Uh, this is a big challenge because in companies today you have some legacy systems, you have some existing vendors, uh, and, and there are some habits within the employees. So as part of, uh, of this strategy, what we, are, what we are looking at achieving is, is bring those tools like, uh, like Google Drive that maybe some of you are, are using uh, and bring them uh, to, the to, the, uh, to the enterprise. So it's a cloud solution uh, and, and it's coming only uh, if the usage are adopted uh, within the company. So you can have the best, the best solution, the best API, the best product but if it's not accepted by the employees, if it's not complete, if there's no transformation plan coming from the CEO, you will have a hard time uh, getting the usage, getting the adoption, because change is difficult. Change is always uh, uh, specific, especially in Western Europe, and I'm not talking about France. Uh, so these are the kind of things that, uh, and we're going to be able to fix it. Thank you, guys. These are the kind of things that we, we are looking at achieving. So Google for Work today is an entity that is dedicated to the, uh, to the corporate business. And, and what we take is the, uh, the Gmail, for instance, that you use at home, and we bring it um, to the enterprise through a cloud solution. So in Google, there are several, uh, several themes, several strategies that are, that are key. When we develop products, we are shooting for one billion users, minimum. If we don't see a potential of one billion users worldwide, we're not going to invest heavily. So if you take a look back at the solution that have been, um, oh, thanks guys, uh, that have been adopted um, by all of us uh, as internet users, you can see YouTube, you can see Android. So I'm going to start over to the, uh, to the presentation. So in 20, um, do you have the click? Thanks. Uh, in um, 205, you can see the Pope election and, and, um, and how it used to be at uh, Piazza San Pietro, and, and this is, this is what happened last year. So you can see that the usage uh, from those devices, from those applications are going really fast. And uh, I had um, a colleague that uh, told me um, on uh, Saturday, she went to the Stromae concert in Paris. And she had a hard time seeing Stromae because of all the people with the, uh, with the phone and the tablet. So these are the kind of things that uh, there is good and, and there is a bad. So you see that those, uh, the, those changes are going fast and users need to, um, to get used to them, and the enterprises. So if you take a look at a few surveys, you see that um, people in general are unhappy with the tool that they use at work versus the one uh, that, um, that they have uh, in the company. So we call it the, uh, kind of the phenomenon of consumerization that Apple have started with the iPhone, that Google has contributed with, uh, with Gmail, for instance, uh, and these are the kind of things that uh, have an impact on everyone, okay? So these kind of um, surveys doesn't make sense today, and, and it, needs, it needs to change, and that's uh, part of our mission. So basically, we are shooting, as I said, regarding a, a number of billion of users. The left part is funded by advertising, which is a business model from Google. The, the, the business I'm in, Google for Work, tries to, um, to bring those applications, those APIs, those products, to the company so through a, a cloud model. Because that's the only way we're going to be able to scale. You need to have something that is not expensive, that are used today. So if I take all of you today, 40% of you are Google users today on Gmail. In France, it's 95% on search. So I'm not talking about search but I'm talking about those collaborative tools like, uh, like Google Drive. So these are, this is a dilemma that, that we have. The challenge we face is that we have our competitors are the IT industry leaders that have been in this business for 30 years, which is a big challenge. So we are outnumbered by 20. So even though we are, we are Google and you see us as a, a cash machine, we, we are a business unit with a CFO that is deciding on return on investment, and that will take decision not, not only because 
there is cash in the company, but because there is return investment for the shareholders. So this is what we are looking at achieving uh, within Google for Work. One important thing I wanted to, um, to highlight is the culture behind it, because the transformation will not happen with the tool. I don't believe in that personally. The transformation will happen if there is a CEO that is launching this type of project. He wants to transform the culture. So I'm recommending you to read Eric Schmidt's book. I started it uh, one week ago, and uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty funny. There are many, many tricks regarding Larry Page, the kind of thing that are completely unconventional and that are fun to read. Why, why am I saying this? Because the mix, what we are trying to uh, pass as messages to the customer, that the tool is important, but the culture is as important. And the culture we don't control, only the company is controlling, the CEO and its uh, employees. So what Eric Schmidt is saying regarding how Google works, that there are se several ingredients that are critical. First run is innovation culture, sort of a given for a company like us, but you know, not ev everybody is trying to uh, innovate in, in the web, but if you are an old fashioned company, if you want to relaunch uh, your business, you need to bring this kind of uh, spirit. So innovation culture meaning always trying to reinvent yourself, always pushing yourself at stretch so that uh, you will, uh, the, the teams um, uh, will provide its best. Uh, teams are important for flat organization. What does it mean is that we, are, we have teams that are maximum seven people. If you have teams that are broader than that, it's gonna become political. It's gonna become difficult to uh, be effective. So the rule internally within the HR system is that from the CEO to the latest employee, there are only seven layers. And uh, managers or VPs only have seven people maximum. These are the kind of things that are making the difference in the way we can, uh, we can go fast in the company. Give people freedom, that's probably the most important. There are many uh, videos on YouTube around moonshots. Um, thinking, thinking differently and having bold dreams and only um, if, you, if, you, if you give your teams those type of philosophy, will they achieve great things, okay? And finally, the, the, the topic of today are the tools. If you want your teams to be effective, they need to have the tools to work whenever they want, at home, at night, et cetera, et cetera, on a train. And, and this is what Google Drive um, is providing. So I'm recommending you this book. It's, uh, it's a great reading. So, Google Work um, is, pro is uh, building up Google Drive. We're gonna have somebody um, talking to you regarding APIs built on Google Drive. What we're gonna focus as Google is making sure that Google Drives gets better. The API, we provide it to the market, to all the developers, to all the companies that are ready to develop around our solution, okay? What we focus our R&D on is getting this tool better and better around um, its uh, performance, uh, its availability in the cloud, around uh, number of APIs on the market, et cetera, et cetera. I'll give you an example that we've seen uh, at, at a large customer, more than 100,000 people. Uh, those guys, they were used to work kind of the old way, okay? Um, and uh, for instance, they, they made an exercise of issuing a press release following a, a large contract. Generally, they would take three days back and forth, 10 times during a, a 10 version of a document. With Google Doc, so in Google Drive, it took them one hour and a half with 20 people on one document working collaboratively. So these are the kind of things that will make a difference in a company. And they told us they were amazed by the achievement, by the productivity that they would gain. Google didn't invent it. We're just providing a tool, and now it's up to the people, to the, order, to your, to the organization, to adapt this tool to the company. So let me introduce you to Massimo Capato. Massimo is running uh, a company called Revevol, a Google partner, and has developed an API around Google Drive, and he's going to share with us his experience. Thank you. Very quickly, uh, hi everybody. Uh, this is quite an interesting story. The, the big cloud players, are a great opportunity for people like us working with web services and APIs because they provide you an immense power and scalability that you need. So we can actually compete with the giants. And as we've evolved, when we develop application, we compete with the largest incumbents 
in the market. And we often win because we raise ourselves on the shoulders of Google, which is very funny and very valuable from a business point of view. What happened was that Brevevol was a company specialized in deploying Google apps and Google Drive at large enterprises. We did that many, 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 many times. Uh, today, over 850,000 people in the enterprise world use Google Apps that were deployed by Revival. So we found out that there was a need for some addendums on top of what Google is doing, and more specifically on Google Drive. Because what happens with Google Drive, when you deploy Google Drive on the 100,000 employees company, like Xavier was mentioning before, people start collaborating in a flat way. Sharing is a very natural gesture. And the social network has been the largest massive experiment of training in the history of IT. Everybody was trained since we were a kid in sharing things, which is very nice and rewarding. So people start sharing stuff in the enterprise. But Google Drive is basically a very powerful file system. So what happens is that if you are a 20 people company, it's great and it's fun. If you are a 100,000 people company, you start having some troubles. So what is great working with Google, another thing, is that everything is API based. So anything you can do with a mouse in a Google Apps environment, you can do it by calling an API. So we, what we did, we started programming on top of Google Drive, and we simply added the capability to handle metadata, on top of the documents, and uh, property limitation and sharing limitation. By doing this, we added a layer on top of the Google technology, and we transform what was an extremely powerful tool for co collaboration into a real enterprise DMS full scale. So we, uh, we begin to have some cases of very large corporations who dismiss entirely their file service. So they completely go virtual, dismissing millions of documents on hundreds of file servers and start working entirely in the cloud. The takeout from this is that if you have a good idea, if you focus on a real business need from a corporation or from consumer people, you can raise yourself on the shoulder of the large cloud players like Google. And we have chosen Google. We are not Google. We have chosen Google and go even farther and make money and compete and have uh, fun. And uh, I've been in business and IT for 20 years, 15 of which before uh, doing my startup adventure with Revival. And I can tell you it's the extremely funny and extremely rewarding if you are very interested in the business side and the human side that web services and enterprise IT can, can deal with. Questions? Let me conclude, Massimo, thank you. So the takeaway from our presentation, and I'll give you an example because we, we won this deal of 100,000 employees, which we, we never won before uh, in France. We won it thanks to the Docs API, not because Google did the deal, because the, the, uh, the combination of the two was making sense for the employees because it's not Google that is deciding how to use, how the company is working. Again, the, the, uh, the API developed by Revival was a compelling, uh, compelling event for the right solution for the customer, and it enabled us to win. So everybody wins in, in that process. So I just want you to walk away with a few facts. First, you can do these type of things in a cloud model, and a cloud model only, because you, you, you will have the economies of scale, uh, the project will be very not costly. Generally, we divide the cost by four versus uh, an existing environment. So this is, this is important. Second, the transformation, the digital transformation needs to come from the CEO, not from IT. It needs to be bought by the business. And, and the third is the most important for the APIs. If you want to be successful in this business, you got to make sure that your API will be deployed, adopted in the enterprise. Otherwise, it's just a software that is sitting in your garage. And, and it doesn't make sense for anybody. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.